Hey everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. It is Monday, November 9th, 2020, and this is my post-market wrap-up. Just bear with me a moment, because I am so angry, I almost can't even see straight right now. I just finished reading, I can't even talk, reading an article about an Arizona couple um, who was just arrested for deliberately firing a BB gun at an eight month old girl. Um, one of them was the mother. Apparently a BB struck this eight month old girl in the back of the head, uh, causing a skull fracture. And now the baby is in critical condition. I mean, what kind of sick, twisted people are these? Um, so again, I gotta get my bearings together. It's, uh, what kind of serious, seriously, what kind of punishment would be a proper one for, for an adult to f deliberately fire a BB gun at an eight month old girl and critically injure her? I have no idea what that punishment should be, but it would be very, should be very, very harsh. All right, with that said, thank you for letting me vent a little bit. Let's talk about this market here. Uh, rally on Wall Street. A pretty big one. However, stocks cut their gains in half. The Dow Jones Industrial Average finished up like 800 and something points. It was up like 1,600 earlier. I mean, if you were to look at today's stock market action from a technical standpoint, the market, it, it just went crazy and got extremely ahead of itself. You would expect to see some of this give back. Uh, no, I am not trading fancy. I am not shorting this market. No, look, let, let me let me also talk about this. My lions out here, people that follow my work. When was the last time you can remember me telling you to get short this market? It's been years, okay? Years. So I heard from a lot of people today, some of them my own lions, who apparently, for some reason, I don't know where they got this information from, went into this week being short the market. That bothers me, and I'll tell you why. Because I work so damn hard at trying to keep all of you on the right side of this market. I post all my trades for you on my in my free newsletter, link in the description of this video. And if you've been following that, you have simply destroyed this market. How many times have I said, allow me to help you navigate this market and you will win? If you bet against me, you're gonna need a lot of luck. I'm not tooting my own horn here, but I work darn damn hard at this. For all of us, not just for me. All right, this blog here is about all of us making a difference in the world. Okay, do you think I sit here and do this because I think it's fun, although I do, <laughs> it's the truth? No, I wanna make a positive difference in the world by explaining the twisted financial system to you in a way that you can understand it, that you can capitalize on it because it's all rigged against you. It's completely rigged against you. How many people are out here, professional traders, are out here outlining the stuff that I do, putting the market together for people in a way they can understand how they can profit from it, or not less, at least not get destroyed, and then I gotta hear from people that they're getting killed in the market? Some people told me that they lost nearly astronomical sums today, that my eyeballs almost exploded when I looked at it. I don't wanna see this, okay? And for those of you, honestly, who, have, who wrote to me today, and it was a bunch of you, saying, Greg, I went short the market, I lost this. What can I do? I can't help you. I cannot help you, okay? I don't know what to tell you. If you decided to get short this market, I didn't tell you to do it, go to the person who told you to do it and ask them how they can help you because I've been explaining to you to don't get fancy in this market, don't do anything that can jeopardize your portfolio. I think there's someone at my door. Anyway, um, look, when a market is in an uptrend, 
Okay, we are clearly in an uptrend. We've been in an uptrend for a very, very long time. The last thing in the world that you want to do is bet against the market. You wait for the market to drop. Let's use today as an example, okay? Market put on 1,600 points middle of the day. We closed. We cut those losses in half. You wait for this to bleed off, okay? And then you buy that dip. You don't short it. You understand? I cannot make this easier for you. For you people out here that are stacking metals, okay? Metals got decimated today. Decimated. We're talking about the paper derivative, okay? The paper derivative in this upside down market does dictate the price of the actual physical metal. You use this to your advantage. What do we know for a fact is going to happen? We are going to see an explosion of debt on an epic, epic, freaking epic scale. You understand? Some kind of a stimulus package is coming. We're talking about trillions of dollars. We're talking about a central bank that is determined to finish what it started in 1913. That is to be the lender and buyer of last resort to own it all. Today, the Federal Reserve is the strongest institution bar none on the planet Earth. Bar none on the planet Earth. And the enforcement arm of the Federal Reserve is the United States military. There is not a stronger institution on the freaking planet. They're going to finish their job. They're going to finish their job. So, long term, my perspective will never change. Let them play their game. We are going to play ours. When you see a move like this with regard to gold and silver, you should smile like I do. Okay, and understand this is an opportunity, in my opinion, to acquire more at massively suppressed prices in relation to in relation to the debt bubble that we are in that is going to get monumentally worse with regard to cryptocurrencies. Yes, also fell under pressure today, but it's the same thing to me. Okay, I put physical gold, physical silver, and cryptocurrencies in the same boat for the most part, as you use these to bet against the debt, to become your own central bank. It should be simple. If you just step back for a moment and look at what's going on around you, forget about the politics, forget about anything else. I'm talking about the action going on here in the financial markets, the Federal Reserve, the bigger plan, what central banks are doing around the world. It should be crystal clear to you what you should be doing. It, I just don't know another way to say it. I've been talking about this forever, okay? Um, I, I really hope you listen to what I am trying to explain to you here um, with regard to these markets, how they play out, how to beat this game. It's a game. All of this. You want to talk about a, a, a theater? Well, that's what's going on in the political arena right now. It's all a game. It's all a show. It's meant to keep you off balance, not knowing what to do, distracted, angry, whatever emotion they got to suck out of you so you cannot focus. You understand? Kind of like me when I started off this video. I was so angry. I'm still so angry about... I mean, I'm speechless about that. And I'm not even going to go back to talking about it because I literally almost started crying when I read that article. I swear to you, my eyes cut, teared up. I'm like, what is this? Anyway, let's touch on a few other things here. The U.S. 10-year yield skyrocketing here. And I'm not talking about in a danger zone where we're worried about a market meltdown. That's not the case that I see here, at least just yet. Okay, I have been warning that we're going to get a massive spike higher in the 10-year yield. Stocks are going to fall. That scenario will play out. We have a market in hyper bubble territory. Hyper bubble territory. It's going to go higher. I explained to you over for quite a while now that this market was going to hit new record highs in short order. Of course, I got ridiculed. Of course, I got talked down to. I am wrong. I am this. I am that. And again, I was proven correct. Yes, new record highs for the market. And we are going to hit more. We are going to hit more record highs moving forward. Allow me to help you navigate these markets, every single aspect of it, and you will win. Allow yourself to be distracted, manipulated, fed fake news, 
propaganda, you will lose. You will lose, not just in the financial world, but in this twisted, sick environment we are in. And that's the last thing I want for a single one of you out here. You understand? Avoid it, okay? Avoid all that nonsense and focus on... If you're here watching this blog, you're here for one reason for the most part, to understand what you need to do for yourself, for your family, for the people around you that you, you, that you care about, that you love, and maybe to be a better human being by you know, making some money in this market and then taking a portion of those profits and paying it forward, donating to a charity that you believe in. Uh, you know, look, I don't know what else to say, and I'm kind of a little screwed up in the head uh, over that article I read earlier. Um, anyway, you know, I'm going to place a link to that article for you to read in the description of this video. I I'd love to hear your take on it. I really would. I, I really would. Anyway, uh, look, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this video blog. I think I covered everything I wanted to, even though I'm a little whacked out here. Uh, we got a market in a major rally. Look for a pullback here. Buy the dip. Don't short the market. And, and, and again, for those of you that are writing to me saying, Greg, what should I do? I, I wouldn't short the market. I can't help you. If you're not allowing me to help you beat this market the way I see it, that it should be done, how can I possibly help you if you just talk, took a major loss? I can't help you. You understand? That it's, it's, I don't want to sound cruel or anything, but how can I possibly assist you if you're not listening to what I'm saying? It does not make any sense to me, and I'm sure it doesn't make sense to anybody who's, listen, who's listening to this right now. And, and with regard to metals today, good. We're going to use this to our advantage. Let them play with the derivative. It's what they're doing. They're rigging the derivative all they want to. They, bank after bank after bank gets caught rigging the metals market red-handed and they get fined. They get fined over and over and over again. No arrests. Until they start making arrests, which will never happen. I want you to understand that. They're going to get away with it. Okay, We're going to have to eventually just let the market play out on its own but using this, weaponize it against the manipulators. This is all manipulation. It's complete rigging to the highest order. To the highest order, by the highest order. We're talking about the Federal Reserve. We're talking about the major Wall Street banks. That's who we're fighting against here. They rule the freaking world. They will put whoever they want in office. You understand that? We have no say. Do you think your vote really matters? I told you that Wall Street wanted Biden, okay? Nothing will change here. This is Wall Street. You, they can fight. They can bring things to the courts. The banks are going to send in their people, and it's over. It's not about presidents, kings, queens, or monarchs. They do not run the show. When are some of you people going to wake up? I don't think ever. I really don't. All right, anyway, with that said, I'm out of here. I've had just about enough, and I'll see all of you in the morning. I love all of you a lot. Please share the video, and check out, just check out that uh, article I was talking about. I'm going to place a link to that article in, in the comments section here. Outrageous.